Good morning, Moreland. Happy Wednesday, February 8th, 2023. It is a day five on the day cycle calendar. Happy Wednesday. I hope you are off to a great start this week. We only have today, tomorrow, and Friday. We are midway through the week, so keep up the, the positive attitude. Keep up the effort. Keep up the hard work. We are just about there. I know you can do it, so keep pushing forward. Keep persevering. We will get to Friday. So happy, happy Wednesday. On this 8th, I would like to wish Josh Bard a happy birthday and Zoe Sandball a happy birthday. If you see Josh or Zoe around, be sure to wish them a happy, happy Moreland birthday. Today's breakfast is the French toast. Tomorrow's breakfast is the uh, frosted fudge pop tart. Today's lunch, there's a change to the menu. We would like to uh, inform you that today's lunch is pizza. And the alternate is the chicken nuggets. Again, the main lunch is pizza and the alternate is chicken nuggets. And Miss Mary in the cafeteria assures us that Friday will also be pizza as well. How did you do yesterday? How did you do yesterday with our word of the week? Do you remember what our word of the week was or is? Empathy. That's right. Empathy is our word of the week. Rem uh, Reminder and empathy means to um, understand and, and feel and think the way somebody else thinks. Often they, the phrase um, uh, taking a walk in somebody else's shoes helps us to think about what being empathetic means. It's understanding why somebody responds the way they do. It's truly appreciating and respecting somebody else's um, experiences. When we are in situations or we are presented with challenges or obstacles and um, that involve other people, maybe somebody has wronged us, maybe somebody has um, offended us, maybe somebody has upset us, we have to be empathetic. We have to understand that the other person in the situation is also going through something. And we have to use um, empathy to help us work through that, to help us reflect and be understanding. That's how we show respect to one another. In any kind of situation, one of the reasons you are supposed to apologize to somebody is because you are supposed to show that you are developing empathy, understanding that you hurt their feelings or um, that you uh, understand that you may have offended them. Even if they offended you, we need to make sure that we are showing empathy and trying to be reflective and think, hmm, I wonder why they responded that way. And then maybe you can appreciate their response and go, hmm, now I understand. And then you can work through your relationship um, even, and, and it grows even stronger. That's what being empathetic is all about. So continue to work on being empathetic, continue to show empathy, and as always, continue to try to find a way to put empathy into your conversation this week. Respect is so important. There's even a song that helps us remember how to spell it. You know that? R-E-S-P-E-C-T. That song? Yeah. You can show respect with your words and with your actions. Let's challenge ourselves this month to make a point to do both. Show others they are important with your words. A simple yes ma'am or no sir go a long way. Giving a hand to someone struggling to carry a heavy load of books in the hallway speaks volumes to showing them they are important, right? You've, you've carried heavy books before. You know how heavy it is. Help them out. That's being empathetic. That's showing somebody respect. Let's flood our school with some R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Let's do that this month. Let's flood our school with some respect this month. You can do it. I know you can. Your teachers um, talk about it all the time. I've seen it. Let's do it. And on that note, let's end the announcements today. Have a fantastic day. Work hard, show kind, and be respectful. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Do it. You can do it. I know you can. Let's stand and say our Moreland mantra together. I am kind. I am capable. I am valued. We are one. Remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day, Moreland.